What does it take to win? Garrett Hartley could send the New Orleans Saints to their first Super Bowl. Teammates focused on the same goal. Fighting for the city they call home. There we go. It takes big risks that sometimes don't pay off. If they go for this, I am going to be absolutely stunned. This will be a decision they discuss for a long time. But when they do... Onside kick to start the second half. Really unbelievable decision by Sean Payton. Get that much closer to a championship. For your team. For your city. For your home. That's what the NFL is all about. With a game on the line, Vince Young looks, runs, throws. It's caught for a touchdown. And then it's taken away. Mitchell goes in for a touchdown. Stokely down the sideline. Did he catch him? Stokely. Wow. Hand to the face. The ball is out. The Arizona Cardinals win it. Sean Payton said, I will let you help me design this offense. I'd say it worked out pretty well for you. What does it take? Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. All right, what's up, guys? Peter Jaguars here, and who that? We got the New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons for Throwback Thursday, Madden NFL 11. Drew Brees, the covered athlete. You guys saw me in the intro talking about what it takes to win a Super Bowl, and he was able to deliver that for New Orleans. In Super Bowl 44, the Saints trumped the Indianapolis Colts and Peyton Manning 31-17. to and as the NFL was starting to evolve into more of a passing league at the start of the decade, Madden was developing in new ways too. We saw game flow introduced to Madden 11, and this was actually a pretty big change for playing online games when you used it. It was able to cut down the time it takes to play a game about in half from being around 60 to 70 minutes to approximately half an hour when both players were using game flow and doing all that stuff. So that is definitely a good thing. Personally, I find it more useful to have the games be shortened quarter-wise instead of being six-minute quarters, something like four minutes as we have in Madden Ultimate Team today. But something like that rather than speeding up the play calling process. But definitely it was good for people who want more time playing the game, making their adjustments and doing that rather than being on the play call screen and developing adjusting strategies. Then it was definitely a great feature. A lot of other focus was put to online as well. We'll get to Mud 11 in a second here, but online team play was introduced. And while it wasn't that popular in Madden 11, it has developed over the last few years. And I actually find it a lot of fun to play. You don't really see videos of it on my channel. But sometimes I'll get a few friends together. We'll do that. You can have up to six people. Pick your uh, position groups to control. And just mess around and have fun. It, it, it's a blast if you really get into it. Don't take it too seriously. But just like to have fun. Be a little competitive. And do that stuff. Anyway, let's get to Ultimate Team in Madden 11. Because that was unquestionably my favorite mode of the year. And it was actually done pretty well. Not a huge upgrade from Mutt 10, which only existed for a few months. It seemed like Mutt 10 was almost used as some sort of beta to test out what they wanted to do for Madden Ultimate Team in future years. And it worked well. There were collections in the game. There were definitely some hard ones to do, easy ones. But they had good rewards. Uh, some of you guys may remember the team-based collections. For example, if you were able to collect a bunch of Green Bay Packers cards, you could get a 99 Legendary Brett Favre, and there were some of those other ones as well. I think if you did the Browns collection, you would get like a Legendary Derek Anderson or something. So some of them were manageable, even if you didn't have a huge coin stack. And then they actually had some pretty good promos as well. There was no official Mutt Twitter 
or anything like that, but it was Donnie Moore, who's now the ratings guy for uh, just Madden in general, but he would send out updates and little messages when you logged on to Ultimate Team. Sometimes they'd have pack discounts or do like happy hours, uh, basically make like rare cards have a higher chance of appearing, throw new stuff into the game, and that was pretty cool. For it being a young mode, those things were always something to get the community talking and have you want to hop on. Another thing that was really cool about Mutt 11 is the additions of cards. So everyone's base card was first edition, and then throughout the year, if players played well, they could get a second edition, or even if they played poorly, you could have a lower version and in some cases, even a third edition card. So there would be guys like Devin McCourtney, who really broke out that year. He was able to have a third edition card that had him much improved. Or someone like Tom Brady had a 99 overall second. Other general changes to the game, Gus Johnson replaced Tom Hammond as the play-by-play -play commentator, so Gus was with Chris Collinsworth, and it was fun to see him in there really hyping things up, making those big moments all that more exciting. And what you also see on the bottom here is the breast cancer awareness bar. I turned down that little mode for this game, so you see some of the players wearing pink gear also, and that was pretty cool when you have franchise mode in October, this BCA would be activated and it really set more of a feel for the month. Nearing the end of the game here, Drew Brees is able to dot up a clutch pass to Devery Henderson, who goes up the sideline, runs across the middle of the field, and I do a little showboat silly dive into the end zone to rub it in, taking the lead. Brees' second touchdown of the game, and he won the cover vote here against two other guys, Reggie Wayne and Jared Allen. When it was announced, I figured Brees would win, given that the Saints had won the Super Bowl and a lot of the country had rallied around the team, but it was the first time where fans were able to vote for which player would be on the Madden cover. Last little thing here, I remember the Madden 11 soundtrack as something that could really hype me up. There was some Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train, Let Me Hear You Scream, and then a few other things, We Ready, uh, Welcome to the Jungle, We Will Rock You, and some of that stuff. Little pitch here to pretty much wrap things up, so thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, subscribe for more General Madden and Madden Ultimate Team content, let me know in the comments section what you thought of Madden 11, how does it rank overall in your Madden games, I had some fun playing it, but anyway guys, I'm out, peace.